Hey, how you doing? This is Todd, and I'm glad you've joined me for our weekly update of the VO Marketing Pro Group. I hope you had a great holiday uh, Christmas and, uh, you know, celebration of the holidays this last week and that you're looking forward to New Year's Eve tonight and New Year's Day tomorrow. Uh, I just wanted to you know, thank you for being part of this group this last year in 2021, and just want to say that we are very much eager to serve you in 2022 and looking forward to uh, seeing what will happen as far as direct email marketing on your behalf for this new year. Uh, I wanted to jump on here quickly and just wish you and yours a very happy new year, a happy 2022, and a safe and healthy and also successful 2022. I'm going to share my numbers for this week and then kind of uh, they're getting close to the final numbers. There's going to be a few added things in there, uh, some residual audio books that I get uh, over the next couple of weeks and we'll add that into a final total. But this is getting close to what I made this year in voiceover alone. But just I just wanted to just talk to you for one or two minutes about one piece of advice uh, for 2021 leading in to 2022. Remember, be in this voiceover business for the long haul. That's one thing. And second of all, diversify, diversify, diversify if you can. Long haul mentality and diversify if you can, as best as you can. Now, what I'm hearing as you know, I kind of put my ear to the tracks and look at some Facebook groups that I'm in and uh, just kind of listen to the VO world talk out there. I'm hearing a lot of voiceover talent as they come to another year, the close of another year, and they look back and uh, look at their successes and their failures, look at what they made. And there's a lot of bemoaning of the fact that, for instance, Fiverr, didn't treat them as well, or they didn't do as well on Fiverr, or Voices.com, or Voice123, they were flat uh, the last few months or this year. They didn't make as much money. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think about that, and I think, okay, so what's your plan going forward? Because not one of them, now I'm not saying I listen to every single person out there, but not one of the people that I listen to from time to time talk about diversification, especially as it relates to direct email marketing. They bemoan the fact that Fiverr and Voices.com, Voice123, all these platforms and all of these other ways of making money in voiceover aren't doing well right now or haven't treated them well or something's changed, the algorithm has changed. And I keep warning people, try as best as you can to diversify and have as one of your income streams direct email marketing. And that's why I'm so glad that you are part of this group and you're trusting us with your direct email marketing campaigns. Even if you don't want us to do it or you, 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 know, you want to go in a different direction, do it yourself. Do it yourself. You can do it. And I just want to encourage you to have direct email marketing as part of your 2022 plan. So let's talk just in the last minute about my numbers for uh, this week. It was a slow week, and I expected it. Uh, the platforms this week, $966.40, and the direct email marketing came in at $1,495. My total this week, it was a four-day week, but nevertheless, it's still down quite a bit. $2,461.40. $2,461.40. That was my week, the last week of 2021. And you remember these fancy uh, stats here. I've been crossing out the last few weeks. Last week, we ended at three th 314000 $677. So if you will just allow me to put my new number on here with this week's earnings, it is $317,128 so far in voiceover. $317,128 in voiceover. And as I said, there's going to be some, a few hundred dollars probably coming in from residual royalty books, uh, audio books that I produced many years ago. 
So there you have it. Uh, my numbers, again, 317,128. That's pretty close to what it's going to end up on. A little bit lower than last year, about $12,000. But I'll take that, especially as I plan to kind of slow down just a bit. So again, have a great New Year's Eve if you listen to this today or uh, if you listen to it in the next week or even in the future. Just have a great 2022. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.